What we've done is to challenge everything. We hope that there's plenty of innovation where it's not innovative, it's at least sort of state of the art. We've reviewed everything, our design targets, the way we do things, the structure of the team, what makes a fast rally car. We've challenged everything. So hopefully you'll see when the car you know, surfaces, you'll see not just a, you know, what we hope will be a very good car, but you'll see things that, you know, one or two things that you won't have seen before. It's relatively easy to make a very strong, reliable car, and it's relatively easy to make a very fast car. What is really difficult is to hit just the right balance, so where you've got a car that's faster than anybody else's and more reliable than anybody else's. That's really bloody difficult. A rally car, you know, it's sort of the biggest single element of where it's different from any other racing car is in the suspension. Um, you know, the, the variety of terrain, the abuse that it gets, and the, the conflict between durability and performance. If we set the wrong targets, we're, we're in trouble. If, if we want the car to be fast, we've got to go as far as we dare towards making all the suspension components light. If we go too far, the first time we get to a big rock or a big jump, the wheels fall off. The engine is a collaboration between ourselves and BMW Motorsport. BMW Motorsport, I would have to say, are doing most of the hard work. They're the guys that are creating the base engine. Um, our role in it is to think about how it will perform in the rally car as opposed to in a racing car. The hard bit with a rally car is every rally is so completely different. We've got to be sure the car works in snow and ice and mud and gravel and dry tarmac and wet tarmac and rough and smooth. So the process of testing a rally car takes longer than it does for a race car. We, you know, we have to be patient and make sure that the car works everywhere. There's nothing quite like putting the driver in and getting his feedback and putting it through its paces. We, you can't, no matter how much time you put the car on the old shaker rigs and, and rig tests and so on, um, there's nothing like driving it down a dusty, rough gravel road at 30 degrees and, and see how it all behaves.